Yeah, the Senate Republicans have been very vocal in terms of uh, their lack of support of a number that is uh, even close to what the president has already supported at the $1.88 trillion uh, range. Uh, I, I can tell you this, that there are some in the Senate that would support it, whether there's enough votes to get to the 60 vote threshold. Uh, uh, that's up to Leader McConnell. He, uh, he has agreed that he's willing to go ahead and put forth uh, uh, the bill. If we have a bipartisan agreement uh, on the bill, he'll bring it to the floor and actually have a vote. Uh, and, and yet it's too early to tell. Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of Monday, October 19th, 2020. Well, to start off with, let's see here. When it comes to Sims check and Sims package, it will be a bit, it will be, a, I'll let you know basically what Congress and President are up to on that one. Um, the leader of the Senate, Mitch McConnell, wrote a letter to, wrote, basically he wrote a letter this weekend to Nancy uh, Pelosi saying some awful things. I'll give you the little insight on that one. And also Nancy Pelosi wrote a letter to the Democrat, uh, the leader of the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, sorry wrote a letter to the Republicans, not saying a whole lot of good stuff about them either. Nancy Pelosi said that they have until Tuesday to pass a stimulus package before the elections. However, Pelosi said that she is optimistic about reaching agreement before the elections. The Senate will be voting on standalone bills this week Sorry about that. I have dogs in my background. But they will be voting on a uh, standalone bills this week. Among these bills are basically unemployment extension, PPP, and many more. Republicans and Democrats were working on the, the largest stimulus package this weekend. So those were going to the $1.88 trillion stimulus package this weekend. And negotiations are basically still continuing on today. President Trump says that the Republicans will support a large and expensive stimulus package, and if they don't, that he will step in and make sure that they do. He is going to threaten the Republicans. How nice. And he is one of them. <laughs> the director of the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Michigan says that the next 6 to 12 weeks are going to be the darkest in the pandemic we've had so far. Here is the current status of the second stimulus check and the stimulus package. The Republicans and Democrats are arguing over details in the wording in the stimulus package as far as the testing for COVID-19 goes. Nancy Pelosi says that they want to change the wording so much. So I have this written down. I have dogs in my background and it's sort of irritating because I talk about that. I'm almost lost my phone. That the money is intended for testing for COVID-19 would end up in a slush fund for the Republicans. Therefore, the Republicans and Democrats, they continue to work on the exact wording when it comes to cover that section of the package. Pelosi says that if we can't reach an agreement before the end of Tuesday, that there's probably not going to be a stimulus package until after election days. Yeah, isn't that nice of her? In fact, she says that most likely the chances are is if we don't get one passed before elections, they won't want to be, be one passed until around February of 2021. Now, isn't that nice of her, right? But she said that she's optimistic that they can come to an agreement before the elections. We can only hope so. Trump's, Trump's stimulus package says he wants a stimulus package now. Trump says that if he... that. <clears throat> If we don't get a stimulus package before the elections, then he will make sure that we get a, a passed one immediately. We will have he will have one passed immediately upon his winning the elections. It's always upon him winning the elections, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that funny? He also went on to say that the Republicans are willing to support a large and expensive stimulus package. Trump says that if the Senate Republicans aren't on board that he will step in and make sure that they are. The Republicans in the Senate will be introducing standalone bills to be voted on this week, basically on Monday, on, sorry, on Tuesday and Wednesday. The um, standalone bills, 
that are going up are for vote this week basically are for a second round of paycheck protection, extension of unemployment, uh, money for schools, money for testing, tracing, and vaccines. And these are to be voted on on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, like I said. And then Chuck Schumer said that the standalone bills will not give any relief to the American people. So the standalone bills are basically a joke. Mitch McConnell tried to show his power, even though he has none. It, oh, it, the cool thing is I even got a little bit of information about uh, Mitch McConnell's letter and Nancy Pelosi's letter. In Mitch McConnell's letter, he said that uh, Speaker Pelosi has wasted months playing games, playing with the health and security of American families. Nancy Pelosi's letter said in, that she wrote in it that the coronavirus relief negotiations are going well. The Republicans said that they would accept the wording in the testing and tracing section of the bill, but they wanted to add a light touch to it. But their light touch would make a slush fund for the administration. In other words, she's saying that if I guess they're changing their wording enough where it would create an overbalance of money for them to actually put in a slush fund for themselves. And let's see here. That actually covers my whole Simish package update as of today. <laughs> I hope you found this very informational. And I do request that if you if you like my video, or any of my videos for that matter, that you please give me a thumbs up and a like, which is a like basically. And if you want to get more of my insightful commentary, <laughs> as you want to call it, Please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can get an as because I put one out like every single day. Until then, you guys have a wonderful night, and I will broadcast again to you tomorrow, Tuesday. Hopefully, I will have a bit more daylight to do it in so you don't so you can actually see more of my funny looking face. <laughs> so until then, you guys have a wonderful evening, an excellent night, and please stay safe out there. And remember, we're all in this together. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,